Okay, so uh, I'm here just having my morning coffee and I'm deciding that uh, I feel like reading MLB The Show Reddit today. Now, uh, <laughs> Reddit and I don't have the greatest relationship. Uh, and it's funny because I used to read Reddit a lot uh, for MLB The Show back in the day before I became a content creator, but they don't really like my content. And uh, I've been sent a bunch of posts. Um, I wouldn't call them fan posts of me, let's put it that way. But we're here to read this. I'm gonna be as nice as I possibly can, guys. I'm not looking for beef with the Redditors. Not today. I just wanna see what's over here, what's on this platform. And if I have any agreements or disagreements, I'll have them respectfully. Let's get it. Mmm. Coffee ASMR. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Make great, made great Britain's World Baseball Classic Unis in the show. Oh my God. You know what's actually funny about this? His look better because there's a space between great and Britain, like grr, eat, bry, tain. Someone, someone like zoomed it out and says, if you have like one more tier, it'd be eat, taint. Just, just putting it out there. Uh, 69 comments, beautiful. How do I upvote this? Ah, the diamond, I'll upvote that. I had to let him know, I had to let him know, baby. Keep your all world baseball classic teams. I have an all Joe team. Joey Manessis, uh, who's in center field? Joe, who the hell is that? Joe, Joel Booker? There's no Joey, I would've put one of the other. I would put Joe Morgan in center. Uh, Joe Carter in right. He's got Joey Wendell at short, the GOAT. If tops now, Joey Wendell was in the game. Only, only Joe Torrey, Joey Votto, Joe Mauer, Bed, Joe, Joey Bart, Joe Panic. That's actually hilarious, man. I'd probably put, no, I really can't do anything. He's gotta deal with the, the crappy Joe. Maybe Connor Joey in the outfield and put Manessis in center. That's that guy Joe, I don't know. That's funny though, I like that, man. I love that, good job. The all Joe team gets a, an upvote from me. New animations including an amphibious Chris Sale. They had Chris Sale right-handed in the feature premiere. Oh boy. Why is that not surprising? People really care a lot about presentation, right? I mean, look, I get it, but at the same time, I don't. And what I mean by that is this. I understand logically what you guys like are asking for and what you guys like. I just can't relate to the stimulation that people get from that. Like the, the, the rush, uh, the dopamine hit they get when there's like a sick presentation. I just don't get that. And like, I would much rather have good gameplay and stuff like that. But I, I mean, I don't know. I feel like if you want presentation, why don't you just watch basketball? Do you know what I mean? Or baseball, and this because I, I saw I said basketball because this is basketball on this post. But like, if you really want presentation and like aesthetics, wouldn't you be just getting that same jolly from watching it? The whole idea of playing it is to have some sort of like a reciprocating entity, like immersive, controlling agency over yourself. I don't know. That's just me though. I mean, I'm I'm curious to hear you guys' thoughts on that. Let me know. Am I the only one happy with the new scouting and drafting development? Let's talk about this for a second. Am I the only one happy? Stop. When people do that shit. It's the most, it is a, uh, it is the question version of virtue signaling. And I'm the showers do this a lot. I see it a lot on Reddit, but mostly like on Twitter too. Um, I don't know about anyone else, but I'm happy with the, it's become this like morality Olympics where, and this gratuity Olympics, where if you are always happy by every, uh, about everything and you act like you're so gracious, you're putting other people down in the process. It's a way to, to just absolutely self aggrandize and posture like a peacock on the timeline. Let everyone know that you're so happy with everything and that nothing, everything, little things please you. It doesn't take much to please you. You know what I mean? That's what I've noticed with that. It's a psychological aspect to it and no one will ever admit to it because when you phrase it like this, you can always walk it back and go, oh, well, no, I just saw a lot of people getting upset about it and I wanted to know if I was in the minority. Okay, you can always walk your way out of it. That's why people do it because it's a cowardly way of taking shots at other people. Now, people might not agree with me on this take there, but, I know a lot of you know what I'm talking about. If you exist in social situations, you know the passive aggressive type of people, bro, they're the most annoying types. Not the passive types, not the aggressive types. The passive aggressive types are the ones that get under most people's skin. It's a common denominator. So just something I wanna point out, um, you know, another comment I saw the other day was, uh, Oh, you know, I'm gonna be happy with this game no matter what, and will be the show 23 when it comes out because this game doesn't really just get to me like it does to other people. No one who's truly happy and has found peace within themselves and is truly unbothered mentions other people in their statements. I'm happy. That's what you say. Oh, I'm really, I love this. You don't go, I love this even though other people don't. You don't have to say that because now you're posturing, right?
Like, if you really didn't care about other people, like it, it, it clearly bothers you, but you want to disguise your frustrations and animosity with this blanket of kindness. There you go. I just broke down the that archetype of person in the MLB The Show community and in other communities too for other things. Moving on. Pinpoint versus analog, is it worth switching? Why is Reddit so laggy on the on desktop? I've used analog since it came out on Xbox and have done well with it. ERN online rated. That's problem number one. Is around 1.75k. Yeah, so no, not DD questions, which is fine. Feels like thumbstick gymnastics more than pitching to me. Jim Morrison says, guys, it's absolutely worth the change. I was very resistant and hesitant towards pinpoint, and I, I feel foolish that I was that way. Trust me, it is the most immersive way to pitch. You actually replicate pitches. Pitches are different. Analog, it's the same motion every single time. Am I the only one who can use pulse? I can keep an eye on the runner and watch the pulse. Okay, we've made our way to the really casual side because if you can't pinpoint while worrying about a guy on first base, I feel like that tells me that you're probably a, a super casual gamer, which is why it's interesting that the con the conversation is about online here because you can't be doing that well. I mean, look, here's the truth. Even if you're a well-ranked online rated player, you're playing against really bottom of the barrel competition because the real MLB The Show tryhards are playing DD online. Sorry if that hurts your feelings. I like online rated. I used to play it before I got into DD, but that's just the truth, man. These are things I learned from when I was a casual MLB The Show player to now being a tryhard. I've been everything in between, so that's just a fact. So I wouldn't take being a top online rated player as like I have a great vast experience in the game because you're going to DD and you probably wouldn't break 600. And that's fine. If you don't care, it's fine. I'm just saying. I'm not trying to, like, it's just, it's whatever, but it can, you, can, you can get blindsided. The old gold glove squad. Ozzy Smith, Willie Mays, Ken Griffey Jr., Roberto Clemente, Pudge, Brooks Robinson, Keith, Ryan Sandberg, Greg Maddox, Johnny Bench, Nolan Arenado, Mike Schmidt, Al Kalon, Don Mattingly. Going with Keith, I, I get it because Keith's got the most gold gloves. We're going with Keith over a starting card. I would have put Don Mattingly in there or Nolan Arenado or Johnny, uh, not Johnny Bench. Well, maybe Johnny Bench. I would put in a, uh, at least two other players before Keith, as much as I love Keith, because they gave that dude the disrespect. An MVP card at a 95 overall. I can't even begin to imagine why they would do that. It's actually a little bit offensive, to be honest. Keith deserves way better than that. He should have won an MVP. He was only a co-MVP in 1979 because Willie Stargell and the Pirates were popular and they won the World Series that year. Because Willie Stargell didn't even play a full season. Keith was better in every category except for like home runs and slightly in slugging percentage due to the home runs. But everything else, he was much better. To me, Keith was... And Willie Stargell's not a good fielder. It's Keith all the way. Teammate walks, then just disappears. Uh, what? Okay, so Road of the Show has bugs. We know this already. Why is the ball moving so fast when I play an online game, but I can catch up to it when I play any other mode? Because there's literally a difference, but differentiation between online and offline pitching that is a purposeful change. See, I'm trying to be nice. See, I'm trying to be nice, guys. Reform Chev. Boiler Yard, Big Daddy casually hitting a walk-off home run. Oh my God, that is a big boy. Damn. Oh, that's distracting. That PCI is horrendous too. Well, I've seen a lot of people use that. 41 contact, 59 power. What? That's a celebration? I love that. Bro, how is this two days ago when your cap's hitting is so bad? Oh, look. Done with the show. So 1.2K votes, 640 are pre-ordering, so it's pretty massive. Okay, people asking if they're pre-ordering or not. Okay, that's cool. Who the hell is that? That is not Luis Robert, man. What the hell? Oh my God, why is the scoreboard that big? <laughs> that's not even accurate, oh my God. Why are check swing calls so bad on the show 22? I'm nowhere near going halfway, let alone pass, but check swings are called strikes 99% of the time. Last show I played 2020 was perfect. Why did they change it? Oh no, 2020 was not perfect, my boy. Trust me, 2020 was an awful time. Bro, 2020 was terrible. It was not perfect, bro. MLB 20 was, it was check swing galore. He's getting downvoted, upvoted. See, hey, that guy is woke. He knows, don't be broke like a guy. Bro See this. This is the guy who check swings all game and wonders why in 22 he's not as good. Bro, 20 was the worst with check swings, dog. Just... All day long. All day long. Hey, 
All right, man, we're going we're gonna to wrap this up. Shout out to, to Reddit, though, for having some good posts. Um, I'm just, it's, it's just something to scroll while I have my morning coffee, right? And, and you know, we'll do it on stream and stuff. It's going to be some fun, some fun times. Guys, please, if you want me to react to something or look at something, please comment it in the YouTube section below. Check out our Discord channel, um, which will be linked below, where you guys can post in the react section things you want me to look at. And I'll get back to you, whether it be stuff of your own or things you wanted me just to see in general. And uh, appreciate you guys, man. Uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.